Hey y'all, let's take a look at increases in, in percent. And this is kind of an interesting uh, deal. It's it, it can get confused sometimes, but once you learn a certain principle, you got it, okay? And for example, let's say you make $10 an hour um, working at a certain fast food restaurant serving chicken sandwiches with two pickles on them with waffle fries, okay? You make 10 bucks an hour and your boss comes up to you and goes, ah, congratulations, yeah, you know, and, uh, He's smoking a waffle fry. Okay, he goes, I'm, you're making $10 an hour and you're getting a 50% raise. I'm gonna be paying you $5 an hour now. And you're like, what? I thought you said I get a 50% raise. And your boss says, you do. 50% of $10 is $5. You're making $5 an hour now. You're like, well, wait, no, what about the, uh... you know, obviously. What your boss should be telling you is you go, you, you start with the 10 bucks and you add 50% to that. That's $15 an hour, okay? That's exactly what we, we look at uh, when we're doing these in increases in percent, okay? And I'll show you exactly what I mean, all right? Here's a problem. Jane caught 80% more fish than Rob. If Rob caught 25 fish, how many did Jane catch? Okay, now, here's the deal. You, what you're gonna do is the percent you are looking for is not 80%. The percent is 80% more, okay? So what percent are we gonna start with? We're gonna start with 100%. Just like you started with $10 an hour and you added 50% to it and you went, oh, it's 150% of what I used to be making. You, you don't make $5 an hour. That's only 50% of what you did. You're making 150%. Just like this, if, if they tell you Jane caught 80% more, what you've gotta think is, this means 180%. So don't think this is, oh, I got an 80% of 25. No, you're not looking for 80% of 25. You're looking for 180% of 25. Okay, so make sure you got that. Okay, so in other words, the question you are asking is, what is 180% of 25? That's your question, right? And you know how to do this now, right? Okay, so what X is equals 108%, 180 over 100 of times 25, boom, there you go, okay? If you did the arithmetic, you'd get 45. That's how many uh, fish Jane caught. That's sensible, right? That's more than 25, right? More than Rob caught, correct? Okay, that's what you're looking at. The other way to do it is like this, right? You go 80% more means 180%. There's two of your things right there, two of your fraction uh, blanks. The number you're looking for is bigger than 25. So just like this is bigger, you put X up here, you put 25 there, cross multiply, you got the same thing, okay? Here's another one. The townspeople found that the rat population had increased 140%. There were 400 rats. How many rats were there now? Now, again, if the rat population increases 140%, you tell me what's the new percent you're looking for. No, it's not 912. Oh, I thought you said 912. Okay, no, yeah. It, the, what you're looking for is 240%. You started with 100%. You're adding 140%. The new percent you're looking for is 240%. So the question is, you tell me, what question do we ask now to turn into English then turn into a, uh, uh, an equation? I'll give you a hint. What? What is... 240% of 400, there we go, okay. And if you were to do all the arithmetic in this, you would get 960, okay, there you go, okay. The other way, if you wanted to do this, you could go fraction equals fraction, 240 over 100, you're looking for a number bigger than 400, so this matches that, and there you go, you do exactly the same thing, okay. All right, the number of happy Algebra 1 half students increased from 60 to 240. What percent increase was this? Now, the question is, first off, what is the number of happy students? Not the percent, how many, how many more are there? To get that, you'd have to go 240 minus 60 is 180, right? So the question you're asking is 180 is what percent of 60? It's a little tricky, I know. 
but if they increase from there to there, that means you got 180 more. So you got to figure out what the 180, what's that increase of 60, okay? You can probably tell that 60 goes into 180 three times, so the percent increase will be 300, but let's just do it, okay? So 180 is what percent, x over 100, times 60, okay? Let's flip this and make it look nice here. So 60 over 100, x, equals 180. Of course, we multiply both sides by 100 over 60, and then we got it. All right, let's try the practice problems on page 252. So give those a whirl, give A a whirl, and then you know pause it and come back. Okay, the number of acorns on the ground increased 240%. Stop right there. You tell me what is the new percent we are dealing with in this problem? 340%, right? You start with your 100%, you increase 240%, now you have 340%. They were 5,400, on there before, now how many other? In other words, you're asking what is 340% of 5,400? There you go, okay. Now if you wanna chop, you can chop if you want to. Let's choppy chop to there, to there. 340 times, oh, times 54. Merciful heavens, that's a big number. Okay, let's just do 34 times 54. So that's 136 and then 170. Right, so six, three, seven, uh, oops, that's an eight, and there, 18,360 is the answer, okay. And of course, you could have also done this, 340% equals, you know, X over 5,400, okay. There you go, okay. Let's try the uh, B, pause it, and give it a roll. This should be capitalized, okay. It was increased from two, from 40 to 280. What percent increase was this? First off, how, what is the number it actually increased? It increased 280 minus 40, right? That's 240. So the question you need to ask using that number 240 is, 240 is what percent of 40? So 240 is what percent of 40? And let's flip it, all right? So let's go 40 times x, or 40 over 100 x equals 240. And we can just, you know, we know we, know we need to multiply by 100 over 40. So we got the x there. And we got a zero here and a zero there. 24 times 100 is 2,400. 2,400 divided by four is 600. So it is a 600% increase. There you go, okay. And that's the increase in percent. So give the ones on today's problem set a whirl. Do the best you can. And uh, hey, look at this. Problem set 80, we're getting down to the wire here. 43 lessons to go, we're almost there. We're getting there. All right, good luck, have a great day, see ya.